okay folks welcome back so we're gonna do a, another dark water lure so we're gonna change it up and get away from the black now and uh, go to a flag or an apple red and go from there So let's uh, get our paint mixed and let's get on it. This will be fun. Trying to get out of that black for a while and get into another darker color here, this red. And we'll do something different with this bait. Uh, not really made up my mind what I'm gonna use with this red. I may go to a to a white and make something just different. So that's more than likely what I'm gonna do. No me. So but we might as well just get this party started. Well, first thing, let's do a finger test. Running pretty good there, folks. That usually means I did a blow right on through the air brush. So on this video, we're going to do a 1.5 square bill. And this is going to be another one in our dark water pattern. So let's just make it happen. pretty nicely already that nice apple red remember to paint the nose always remember to paint the nose paint the tail so let's heat set that and uh, get another coat on it get it dried up good and then we'll figure out what we want to do with the sides I kind of got an idea that bouncing around in my head so be easy peasy that's looking nice there folks I kind of like that red I'm not a huge fan of red but that's okay. So I apologize folks, I forgot to turn the air off. You might not be able to hear me really well, but you can now. What I wished I had was a button where I could turn the camera on and off. But I don't have a button for that yet. I'm going to have to check into getting one. So folks, what I got in mind for this is kind of a reverse of my white lure. Uh, Y'all can leave in the comments below what you think, but that's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to reverse my white lure. And I will actually paint in the sides of this white. So we're going to let this dry real good before we put those on there so we don't scar our paint. And then we'll be back and we'll finish this lure up. Okay folks, we're back. We got this lure all dried up. So let's go on to our next stage and we're going to reverse our bait that's back here. Our white bait with the red ribbon. We're going to make a red bait with a white rib. Kind of see what we come up with there. It's all about playing and figuring out kind of what you want to do. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to be having a class this afternoon. we got a young lady that wants to learn to paint lures. So she's going to come and paint lures here in a little while. So don't bother me none. The more the merrier. So we got our white paint. I had pre-mixed it already. It's mixed in that bottle because it got way down and I just mixed a bunch up. So uh, let's get our stencils. And let's lay our stencils up on this red bait. We've had it drying there for a while now. So uh, let's just jump right on in and start blowing some red paint or white paint on this red. 
trying to make us a white rib in there. That's what I'm after. So we'll do several coats of this white in here. Then we'll heat set it between coats. Well, let's jump in here and let's see if we can darken that a little bit. Flip it around, work on the other side. Surely a different take on this lure, and uh, everybody knows me, knows that's kind of who I am and how I am. So I have my own ideas about everything in this messed up world. Oh, uh, that looks pretty decent in through there. Well, there we go, folks. Different take on this lure right here. It's just reversed colors. And I will paint the black around the eyes just like this lure. It's just a reverse lure from this. And I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I've been thinking about it for a while. So, you know what? I just did it. Nobody else likes it, I'll fish it. Caitlin will fish it. Yeah. We'll just clean our stencils off a little bit. You might as well learn. Today's as good a day as any. Nice Sunday afternoon. Yeah, Sunday afternoon. Just chilling like a villain, you know. Now let's mix this up. And get our black put around our eyes. Well, you gotta do the finger test. It running fast, that means it'll run through a gun. You know, everybody has their own ideals about that, and that's what I've discovered it will work. And I've painted probably 25,000 lures. So that's what I've discovered. And that's the way I like to do it. So see, we barely, barely have any pressure. That's six pounds of pressure is what that's sitting on. And we need one, two, three, four drops of paint is all we need. It's all about trigger control. You go right in the middle of that eye and just start blowing black around it. The harder you pull back on that trigger, the more paint this gun is going to shoot out. See there? Trigger control. Stop. Very simple, folks. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. How about that red eye on this lure? So that's the one I was looking for. So these come from drop zone baits. Uh, these eyes do. Nice, nice eyes. And these are a six millimeter eye. So put a water slide on the belly and move on with this project. Sometimes, folks, I can get those eyes right off of there, and sometimes I have to use a toothpick to get them where I want them. Oh, there's one. Right on up in there. We could make him a pirate and just leave him one eye, but, you know, we probably better not do that. My wife, it's, you done lost your mind again? Yeah. I probably have, honey. There we go. Red eyes. 
that's going to look pretty good. And got the white, the red, and the black in that eye. So you got the white, the red, and the black in the lure. So I'm colorizing. Okay, let's put a water slide on him. All that is is it's got my logo on it and it goes right here on the belly and then we epoxy over it. Takes it just a couple of minutes to dry and then we can epoxy. So, easy peasy lemon squeezy. dog glue. So, so 1.5 square bill folks you know the drill one and one. I think everybody knows the drill by now. Now there's one cc. One cc exactly. Who's your daddy? Kenna is too papa. So well, folks, we're pushing over 50 lures epoxied out of these bottles and there's still about uh, about 35% of it left in the bottles. So that's actually pretty decent. I told y'all I thought we'd get 70 or more out of a bottle, so Well, that's kind of where we're at on standing on that end of it. One cc. Cool. Come here, Bob. No, so, you know, mix your epoxy really, really well. You know that. Well, she mixed good there. Water slides good and dry. So let's throw it on there. No glitter on this bait. I know that's breaking everybody's heart. Oh boy. Looky there. It decided to move on me. It's alright, I'll fix it. So that's kind of an interesting little bait. I kind of like it. That'd be a good bait for those spring bass when they spawn it, run through their bed. That'd merely make them mad. That bait would. All you Texas boys, you know what I'm talking about. Folks, I go back over it and back over it and back over it, and all the time I'm going back and forth like that, I'm looking for any spot that didn't get no epoxy on it. So that looks pretty nice right there. If that ugly dog sticker, just the hair is pretty. I just fixed it. Well, there you go, folks. That's a reversed white lure that I painted and showed you earlier that's what it looks in the reverse so I think that looks pretty sharp so remember folks to like subscribe and share to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell we got new videos coming out right now three times a week so y'all have a blessed evening and I'll catch you later